Okay people, this is himself and welcome to another Tekken 7 Nina guide. In this video we're going to look at Ivory Cutter and in particular how it works in her wall combo. So Ivory Cutter is 1 plus 4, it's a safe 15 frame mid and it's only minus 5 on block. On hit it does 24 damage and it leaves you at plus 4 and it also forces them into a crouch. So in neutral situations it's not a bad move. But where the move really shines is in a wall combo. Here if you do DF3-2, 1 plus 4, you get a flip over and from there they cannot tech roll. The only thing they can do is hold back and because of that we get some great OK. One of the best options is DB3. Against people who don't hold back this is guaranteed and that means you get 13 damage for free. Against those who do but don't block low this puts you at plus 3 and that means we still have some good options. One of those is DF1 plus 2. This is a safe mid and on hit it splats duckers and sidesteppers. The only danger is that a 12 frame move will beat you out. If you suspect that then you can use back plus 222. This is a Celtic combo and it splats as well. The only danger is that the whole thing is a high so they can duck it. A slightly safer option is 2-4. This is still a Celtic combo and still duckable but it's 2 hits rather than 3 and it has a mid mix up. The only problem is that the blonde bomb is minus 14. Now if you go for DB3 and they hold back and crouch then you're at minus 13 but most characters will only get while standing 4 so really it's not that bad. An alternative to DB3 is quarter circle forward 2. This is people on the ground but it also splats anyone crouching after back rolling and on top of that it's safe at minus 8. Now those two moves alone are good enough but there are some other options you might want to try. The first is the stomp. This is guaranteed against people who don't back roll and the added benefit is that they can't tech roll after so you get even more OK. One follow up is DB3. This catches people staying down, side rolling and standers who don't crouch. It also gets you knocked down against wake up kicks and if that happens either a stomp or a dashing bomb bomb is guaranteed. To stop people crash blocking DB3 we can use back 1 plus 2. This is a safe mid but on hit we get a special knockdown and because of that they can't tech roll or back roll and because of that we get Oki again. Our best option is up 4 3. This hits them in all cases unless they stay down and against wake up kicks you get a wall splat. To stop people staying down you can use the stomp and the good thing is that unless they wake up kick or back roll and crouch you get the full animation and that means we're back where we started. The best thing they can do is hold back and crouch against the very first stomp. That puts us at minus 17 so we will get punished. But you actually get some pushback so you might not get launched. An alternative to the stomp is wipe the floor. Just like the stomp this is guaranteed against people who don't hold back but you don't get the OK afterwards. What you do get though is a better scenario against people who do because in this case they can't tech roll or back roll and that means that we can crouch cancel and do a stomp again. The danger with wipe the floor is that if people back roll and crouch then you're at minus 37 and since there's no pushback you're definitely getting launched. Next option FF4. Against people who don't hold back you can actually whiff if they try to get up afterwards. But where this move is meant to be used is against people who do. Here if they just block you end up at plus 4 so what you could do is go for the throw. To discourage them from ducking you can use while standing 1 1 plus 2. This is uninterruptible and it also wall splats. If they eat FF4 crouching then it forces them into a crouch but you're only at plus 2 so your follow ups are pretty much the same. The last option is DF1 plus 2. I talked about this earlier but there are a few points I want to iron out. Firstly it's a safe wall splatting mid so it's great against crouches. But if it's blocked it has some pushback and you're only at minus 3 so a good follow up is sidestep 1 plus 2. This is a splatting mid that's minus 11 on block. 
but it also has pushback, so it's actually hard to punish. What I also want to mention is that Ivory Cutter is probably her best floor breaking option, and from there you can do the max damage ender. But you can also use the flip over tactic as well, and here I definitely think it's a good option, because after being put through the floor, people are gonna be hammering buttons. They want to tech roll because they don't want to take more damage, and that means that they're less likely to hold back, so stuff like wipe the floor is more likely to hit. On screen, you should be seeing a link to my wall combos video, which you should definitely check out, especially if you just want damage. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did, then give me a thumbs up. If you think I missed something out, or got something wrong, then say so in the comments. There's more Nina videos coming, so keep your eyes peeled for that, and I'll see you guys in the future.